So today I've got a OnePlus device here, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the complete step-by-step -step process of unlocking the bootloader, installing TWRP custom recovery, and fully rooting any OnePlus device. Whether you're new to rooting or you've done this before on other devices, I'll make sure to cover everything in detail so you can follow along easily and get your OnePlus device rooted successfully by the end of this video. In this video, I'm using a OnePlus 9R, but the process I'm showing you will work on any OnePlus phone. Right now, this phone is running Android 14, but don't worry, the steps I'm covering will work regardless of which Android version you're on. To root any OnePlus phone, the first thing we need to do is enable developer options. Head over to the About Phone section, tap on Versions, then keep tapping on version number repeatedly until you see a message confirming you're now a developer. Now head back to the main settings page, open additional settings, and you'll find a new option called developer options. Go ahead and open it. From here, you'll need to enable two critical settings, OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Once those are enabled, connect your phone to your PC using a USB cable. The first step in our process is unlocking the bootloader. Open up your web browser on your PC and search for Android USB drivers. From the search results, click on the official Android developer website and download the USB drivers. Next up, we'll need the Android platform tools. Search for those on the internet and once again, open the official Android developer website. These tools are available for both Mac and Windows operating systems. Since I'm on Windows, I'll be downloading the Windows version. All right, so as you can see, I've successfully downloaded both the USB drivers and platform tools. Now we need to extract these files, so just select them both and extract them. I'm going to delete these zip files to keep things clean. So now we have two folders, the Android platform tools and the USB driver folder. Let's open the USB driver folder first. Right-click on the Android Win USB file and hit the Install button. Once that's installed, open up the Platform Tools folder. When you're inside, click on the address bar at the top and type CMD. This will launch a command prompt window directly in this directory. Now with your phone still connected to the PC, type ADB devices into the terminal. You'll see it shows a connected device, but it says unauthorized. That's because you need to unlock your phone and allow the ADB permissions when the prompt appears. Run the same ADB devices command again. This time you'll see your device's serial number displayed, which confirms your phone is properly connected and authorized. Now type ADB reboot bootloader and wait while your device reboots into fast boot mode. Perfect. As you can see, my device has successfully booted into fastboot mode. Now type fastboot flashing unlock. Your phone screen will display an option to unlock the bootloader. Use your volume buttons to navigate and select the unlock bootloader option. Once you confirm the unlock bootloader option, your device will completely erase all user data and then boot back to the main screen. When your device powers back on, don't set it up just yet. Instead, we need to reboot it into fast boot mode one more time. If your PC isn't detecting your phone at this stage, go ahead and complete the setup, re-enable USB debugging, and then reboot into fast boot mode using that same ADB reboot bootloader command. Excellent. At this point, our bootloader is now unlocked. Now let's move on to installing TWRP recovery on this device. Now open your web browser again and search for your device on XDA Forum. The way I'm searching mine, OnePlus 9 RXDA. Now inside XDA, apply the development filter and you'll find custom ROMs, kernels, and recoveries for your device. Prefer TWRP recovery, and if you can't find any TWRP, just go with any custom recovery like Orange Fox or Evolution X recovery. As you can see, TWRP is available for my device, and they also put the installation guide on this thread, so always double check the installation process from the recovery thread.
Now from this download page, you can see it's showing us two versions of TWRP. One is an image file and another is a zip file. Recovery installation is a bit different in OnePlus phones. First, we have to boot our device in image recovery temporarily and then flash the zip recovery from the temp recovery to make it permanent. So download both the recoveries from here. After downloading both the recoveries, we also need to download Magisk. Open the official page and download the latest version of Magisk. You can choose any version, but prefer the latest version. As you can see, I've downloaded the image recovery, recovery zip file, and Magisk APK. Now we have to install TWRP recovery. So while your device is connected in fast boot mode, type this command. Fast boot boot, then drag and drop the recovery image file. Now hit enter and it will reboot your device in custom recovery mode. So as you can see, we successfully booted our device into TWRP recovery. Now click on the advanced option and select ADB sideload option. Now from here we have two options. We can install the TWRP zip image file to make TWRP permanent, or if you want to root your device and don't want to install TWRP permanently, then in this case you have to type ADB sideload and drag and drop the Magisk APK file. Magisk APK file is a dynamic file. It can be installed as an app or can be flashed as a zip. You can also install the TWRP zip file with the same command ADB sideload, but we don't want to install TWRP permanently. Our goal is to root this device. Once the Magisk is installed properly, go to the home page of TWRP Recovery, then click on Wipe, and then click on Format Data, and type Yes in the text field. Once you wipe the data properly, click on the Reboot System button, and it will reboot your device to the main screen. On first boot, it might take some time because we did a factory reset. Once your device is up and running, set up your device. Inside the application drawer, you'll see a placeholder for Magisk. Click on it, and it will download a fresh copy of Magisk. Once it's installed properly, open the Magisk application. If it asks for additional setup, go ahead and click on Direct Install as the recommended option. Once done, reboot your device. After rebooting your device, open the Magisk application again, and this time, you'll see your device is successfully rooted. So that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.